Father of Stat to Sunthri Yese, where we're looking at the readings for tomorrow, Thursday, and their Dean, in week six of the church's week, the feast of St. Fenton. Now, there are actually at least three St. Fentons. One is associated, our man tomorrow, uh, with County Leash. Um, the other is born, uh, was associated below in Wexford. And the third is associated in Doon County Limerick. But tomorrow's man was really dedicated to the Lord in a profound way. He was born in uh, Leinster and trained in Terry Glass and down to Tipperary. And there he was deeply influenced by the spirituality, uh, a rigorous spirituality. And you could say really that he's, we have the word in Irish, Fionn Oglach. Uh, it's the word we use for the people in the Irish army who are like the American Rangers or the SAS. Um, they're totally dedicated and very well trained. And Finton was unstinting in his desire through fasting and prayer to reproduce himself the mind of love that was in Christ, that he wouldn't think like men think, but that he would think as his Lord and God, our Lord Jesus Christ thinks. And he set out to do that through profound asceticism. Tomorrow's gospel, Christ uh, acknowledges the words of his disciples who declare that they believe that he is the Messiah, the anointed one. And then he tells them the journey of the anointed one is to suffer and die and be rejected. And Peter is appalled at this. And in his human sympathy, he tries to say to Christ that this must not happen. And Jesus says to him, get behind me, Satan, because the way you think is not God's way, but man's. Now, a bit harsh, you could say, by Jesus. But Jesus wants to make a point. Jesus wants to bring about a profound renewal in our hearts and our minds and a complete change. That's what Fenton was about. And James tomorrow, chapter two, letter of St. James. Again, we are inclined in our human nature to be influenced by people who arrive and have lots of money and nice clothes and everything else. And Christ is saying, don't get Deceived, this is not the way. This is not the way. You must not distinguish between people on the basis of, of their wealth or their lack of wealth. Psalm 34 tomorrow. Look towards the Lord and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man, poor in spirit, called on the Lord. The Lord heard him and rescued him from all his distress. And that's a fair summation of the life of St. Fenton. And St. Fenton would have many disciples. And one of his disciples would go on to found another monastery at Bangor. And there St. Columbanus would be trained. So we can say that the great Irish mystery, minister, missionary, forgive me, um, Columbanus was in a way the spiritual grandchild of St. Fenton. I hope that you and I will have many spiritual grandchildren and that you and my, I will become examples of people who are imbued with the mind of Christ. As Paul writes to the Philippians, have in you that mind which was in Christ Jesus. With thoughts just as these, let us go to our beds. Let us have a colossal for a good night's rest and let us awake in the morning with the praise of God on our hearts and on our lips. Agus gamano dia ila kuk duk shiv ahar mak agus spirit nev. Amen. Slán gafol. Bye for now.